Okay, so let's start the webinar. Thank you for joining today. And um, today I want to show you some example of if functions and how you can use it, how you can use it in your calculators. So what I've prepared is a quick example here. And if we'll go to the formula field, we will see nested if functions here. So basically what the calculator does is showing you recommended position based on your test score, age, and education. It's just example to show how the conditions and the E formula works. And let's take a look at the formula here. And we have a function which checks if the education is equal to two, which is bachelor degree for us. And the value here, the two, is taken from the field here. So uh, before setting the if function, it is really important to set all the values in the fields you're gonna use. <clears throat> Pardon. If you're gonna use radio box field or select field, it is very important you set the values you're gonna work with in the formula. So for us, high school is equal to one, bachelor is equal to two. Let's get back to the formula. So what the formula does, it checks if the education equals to two, which means the bachelor degree, and test score is more than 59, then, so here is the comma, and here it starts the true, uh, what happens if the condition is true. If the condition is true, I want to check the age of the person and I'm setting the condition here if age is less than 50 then I would recommend the person to go to head of support else I would recommend the person to go to the head of sales so basically what I'm writing what it what is written here is if condition true else. This is the basic description of the if function. If condition, if the condition is true, the action in true section will be made. If condition is incorrect, then else section will be realized in the formula. Let's get back to the formula. And so if the age is mine is less than 50, then it's head of support and here you see the result. If the age is more than 50, then it's head of sales. Here you go. Then this was defined the true section for this condition. Here is the here is the else. Con, uh, here is the else section for this condition. So if this, conditions, if this condition is not correct, then I would like to check if the education equals to one and test score is more than 59, which is here, then I want the formula to check if the age is less than 50, I would recommend the person to go to support specialist and else if the age is more than 50, I would recommend it go to the sales specialist. And here is the else section for all these formula. So if none of this or this will be, will be true, which means that test score is less than 59, less than 60, sorry. Then it says that test failed and there is no recommended position for you. 
what I wanted to show with this if function is basically that you can use nested if functions as you want. You can set the conditions with uh, you can set the conditions and then put the next if function in the position of true to check the next conditions or on on the else position to check the to check the next condition and in case the the first condition was true to present uh, an action basically what happens is when you set an if function and put the next if function in the true section then there will be no action if the first condition is true if you put the nested if function in the else section then you can define an action which will take place if their first condition is true so this is basically it and there is no limits for the if functions uh, what I remember, I used 20 nested if functions to check all the conditions in the calculator I was creating. So it's basically up to you if, uh, if you want to use 10 of them or 20. Uh, you can use as much as you want. Also, what I wanted to show in this formula is that you can, uh, you can set several conditions in uh, in one condition section using and or or operators <laughs> sorry so basically what is ch checking here is uh, the if function is checking here two conditions education must be two and test score must be more than 59 and and variable here is very important when you need to check several conditions which should match uh, at, at a time. And it also uh, very nice to use and in the same example as this calculator because you can, uh, with the and variable, you can <clears throat> define that uh, education can change. So here you're checking if it's two, here you we check in if it's one and given different and gives different result based on this. But I also need to check in both conditions if the test score is more than 59 or less, uh, sorry, more than 60 or less. Because if it's less than 60, then I need to present that test was failed and there is no, there is no uh, position recommended. You can also use or variable here by simply writing or. And this will, this basically means that one of this condition should be true to go to the true section or none of, it, none of these conditions should be true to go to the else section. So and and or is very useful in the formula field in the, especially with the if functions. What I also wanted to show in this webinar was add function, which allows you to put together a string and integer formats, basically text and numbers. And this calculator I was presenting in a short video in the blog. We uploaded last, uh, last week. And here is the full formula from it. Basically what the formula does is check in if you're exam score is less than 21, then it's grade C. If more than 20, but less than 41, it's grade B. Uh, if it's more than 40, then it's grade eight. What I wanted to present here is text and the score the person gets. So I used an add function, set in the condition if, and then in the true section, I use the add function. Add, you need those simply, uh, simply commas, simple commas, sorry, to present the string in, uh, in formula, to present text, and then just normal comma, and you can use a field to present the value from. Basically what, 
let's let me show you how the how to set up the add function. Oops, something went wrong. No, okay, good. So we simply choose add function here, press on it, and there is really strange description of it. It's string value one, comma, string value two. Let's forget this and, and write some text with the simply commas, text, then present number. I should put a space here so it's better presented. And the reason why I said that the description of, is for, of add function is strange because it really doesn't describe what it does. So it's not just combining two texts or just a text and one number. You can go further and add another text here. Just make sure you put spaces so it presented nicely. Then you can again put numbers, the space again, and then you can also present text. So if you really need a calculator which should give uh, results both in text and numbers, this is, uh, this is the most important feature, I guess. And this is basically it. So this is basically what I wanted to show on this webinar. It's nested if functions and the add functions. And of course you can combine them with each other as it's shown, as it's shown here. So it's add function inside the if function. This is basically it. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.